everyone, Wandabot here, and welcome to Crop Rotation. It is a farming roguelike based loosely on uh, Luck Be a Landlord, but with its own twists. So how are we going to do this? Because I'm an absolute mess when it comes to this game. There's so many options and I can never choose which one is best. So, uh, game follows somewhat auto-battler logic in terms of each card has one to three family types, and each of those have synergies with each other. Whoa. Vegetables. When a crop matures, it gains value if adjacent to a flavor. And if I get a bunch of vegetables with flavor, so three value if adjacent to sweet, sour. Okay, so I think we might want to go for a hard veg round, maybe. So vegetable and flavor. Uh, so strawberry is... it's a fruit. And bell pepper, also fruit. Spicy. So when a spicy crop matures, it gains value. When a sweet crop matures, it gains value. Oh. Alright. Uh, let's see. Cauliflower. Oh. Is bitter. But we need... We need the flower synergy to unlock it. But it is a vegetable. So let's mix that in. So. How the heck am I going to fit all of these things? I have no idea. Let's just turn on the machine and get rolling. So the game works by just randomly placing my crops down in the field watering them, and then harvesting harvesting them automatically. Uh, after X number of harvests, we then have to pay rent, effectively, on the machine. And then rinse and repeat until we're done. So, sweet and spicy permit. When a sweet crop matures, gain six value if it's adjacent to spicy, and vice versa. That's not bad. Herb or flower matures, it gains four value if adjacent to an herb or flower. Oh. Okay, let's go for that, because that, that might actually make flowers a lot better. Let's grab a lily. So now we've got two flowers. We, we might want to consider throwing away the vegetable synergy in favor of herbs. We'll see. What is this? Fruit crop matures, three value for each adjacent sweet or sour. That's an option. We can also get a horse, which is just free rerolls, or a cat. Uncommon or rare crop matures, gains value. Tenth thing. This would be easy to complete, but I don't know if it would help me. Sunflower is bitter and a flower. And so now we've got the flower synergy. Uh, so that unlocks a new type in each one of these, which is a flavor, in fact. Uh, so we also get the sweet synergy and a bit of the wet synergy. And we need a little bit more space. I tried this earlier with a mu mushroom uh, synergy. Uh, the I tried the demo a while back and rather enjoyed it, but it doesn't seem to be in the game at the moment. I wonder if I have to unlock it. When a crop matures, if there are two crops of each flavor on the farm, it gains three value. Crop matures or withers if it's adjacent to spicy or bitter. All adjacent crops gain. We don't have spicy. We've got sour. We've got... We do have bitter. Okay. And yeah, that's sour. There are very few sours. Whereas this seems to be a bit more of a... Hmm. Even mix. Ten gold for every twenty-five farm water gained. So that's 20 gold every round. Crop matures or withers if it's adjacent to spicy or bitter. When a crop matures, if there are at least two flavor I feel like this actually has the most amount of potential, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's get a beat. Yeah, because we've got an amount of synergies going. Just 
just gonna have to unlock some of these. Okay, so we get the tea permit. When an herb or flower matures, it gains four value if it's adjacent to an herb or a flower. All right, alcohol permit. Fruit or seed matures. Four value if it's adjacent to a fruit or a seed. We do actually have an amount of fruits. No, we only have one fruit. We do have a chicken. New chicken after every 30 seed crops harvested. Or when a crop matures, if it's adjacent to empty plots, six value. I think I'm just going to grab the chicken. We'll just sell it. Okay. So we got a couple of options here. We do have more seeds. So getting a bunch of seeds gets us extra cop cards and we also get spicy. Seed and then sweet. Or we just get another sunflower and level it up. Spread to adjacent unused plot after every 10 cards played. Oh. Give me a second. So I guess that's just if it's adjacent to a singular flavor. It's not amazing. Yeah, when an herb matures or withers, if it's next to spicy or bitter, adjacent crops gain three value. So I'm almost thinking we do actually go for the black pepper. Okay. Combo these together. Oh, now we've got vegetables. Now it's counting. Uh, let's see. So lemongrass. It's an herb. Oh, at the end of day, all crops gain value. And sour. We already have a lily, and we already have a sunflower. So we could com combo them together. Oh, two value after every ten cards played. So we might actually want to... Get some things down. Yeah, lemongrass is an herb and it is sour. So it does kind of work with some of these. But I think we want bitter and spicy. Kind of. Let's go for the sunflower. Combo them... Well, not combo them together. We just want to put them in front so they get the extra bonus. Oh, do we not have enough slots? Oh, we're shy of one. Okay, mint. It's an herb and it's sweet. Onion is an herb. I'm just gonna go for the, the lily. We'll combo them together. Okay, yeah, so the fruit per permit isn't that good. Herb crop matures or withers if it's adjacent to spicy or bitter. Oh, I see. So we do, we do need herbs. After all. Because, yeah, I have a lot of vegetables, but the vegetables aren't as good as I thought they would be. I mean, I think we're still doing fine, but we might want to do a midway spicy, bitter herb... Oh, herb flower permit. Because that's herb or flower matures, gains for value if it's adjacent to an herb or a flower. Okay, so yeah, I think we want to get rid of our vegetables. Uh, so we should get rid of the strawberries. Probably get rid of the beets. The vegetables are okay, but I don't think they fit as well. Uh, so we get a chicken. They are alone. We are so far ahead of the curve that we don't need to worry about it. So what is this? Crop matures if there are at most 18, eight, at most 18 crops on the farm, gains two value. So that's not a bad idea. Fruit or seed matures, some value. We do actually have some seeds. 
vegetable crop matures eight value if it's adjacent to another vegetable. So also good. What does the rat do? Common crop matures gains value. I think I'm just going to go for this one. Okay, fertilizer. Value to all crops. Vegetable... Uh, mm, I mean, fertilizer ain't bad. Now, give me a second. We need to open some spaces. Oh. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to fit this stuff. Okay, this is an herb, yeah? Yeah, so we'll want to get we'll want to get rid of the root synergy, or not the root synergy. I mean, roots are okay, but I, I think we're gonna want to get rid of the beet and the strawberry and the cabbage to get some more flowers and herbs up in here. I might have to switch the music out. I'm almost wondering if this is the only song. Wow. Ow? So that gave him two. Okay, so tea permit, fertilizer, herbal permit. Yeah, so the, the tea and herbal are really pushing these in terms of value. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so we could get... I guess I gotta pay attention to this. Sweet and spicy. Bitter and sour. Or just a sprinkler. I think I'm gonna go for the sprinkler. We don't have a whole lot of T2 crops, but we'll get there. Uh, let's see. Do we want to go for another sunflower? Tempting. Because I could go for another cocoa bean, though, get us another seed. Because flower-wise, we've got we've got. Eh, you know what? No. No, I don't, I don't need this that bad. Let's go for the sunflowers. Combo them together. Three value after nine cards played. Yeah, that's pretty good. Everything is fitting in. We're getting plenty of value. Okay, so this is the fruit one, which is not as good as I would have liked, but whatever. Mulch. Reduce the cost of any crop card by two. If it shares a type... With a crop card before mulch. Let's see. Root crop. Common crop. Oh, tea permit. Okay, lemongrass is herb and sour. Or another onion. But no, let's do lemongrass. And let's... Sell this. We... Or do we... No, because that's at least a vegetable. Yeah, so we get the lemongrass in. That gets us the sour synergy. And it's also an herb, so it gets bonuses. So more flowers, more herbs, and that's just going to be our, our overall build. Let's see. Ginger. Gain three value f uh, for each adjacent, uh, each unique flavor adjacent. That is good. It is synergy, but uh, it, it does have synergies, but I think I'm just going to go for the sunflowers for the time being. The question is, do I want to combine them? Five value every eight cards played. Yeah, I think so. going to take a bit to actually get that fully upgraded, but still. Okay. So we do have a couple of seeds, so I could go for more chicken, but we already have a chicken. Um, when a crop matures, if they're at most 18 crops on the farm, yeah. So we've got the flavor one. We also have a flavoring... Oh, when a crop matures, if there are at least two crops of each flavor on the farm, gain gains value. So that's each flavor. We don't have sweet anymore, so that's not super worth it. Oh, 
we do? We have one. I could look in I could look into getting this. What's the duck? Two water for each unused plot now. Um sweet crop matures, six valley if it's adjacent to bitter, bitter, vice versa. So this one's a little bit more reliable, but we do need a couple more flavors. Harder to get. I'm gonna go for it anyway, we'll just see what happens. It's not like we're hard up on money at the moment. Like, I can do whatever I want. Gosh, I actually have a lot. I'm sure this is not the most busted combo people have come up with. I know the developer had to do some, like, last-minute fixes. Uh, kind of good, but mint. I'm sure, yeah. them there. Not that it matters. Uh, let's see. 310. So we need at least one more. I'll probably just go for like a big block here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because we do actually have synergies based on things being next to each other. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Another cauliflower? Yeah. Because we want to combo them together. So flavor-wise, we need one more spicy and one more bitter. And then we'll be able to get that, that one bonus value. I really like being able to mouse over these and being like, Oh, that's what that is. I think the fertilizer has been just, like, shockingly effective. Pay our rent. We get an additional sprinkler. Okay, let's close this for a hot second. We got plenty. I'm just gonna open these up. Let's just... Let's just give ourselves all the space in the world. I guess I should have saved for a reroll, but whatever. Uh, because I see another fertilizer here. Which, yeah. Wet permit's not bad. Okay. Replicator. Play crop card. Hold up. What's the next level? Crop card's the next three slots. Okay, so replicator might be worth it. Go for the lily. Okay, let's switch to insert mode. There. Oh, that's much better. Okay. And I could combo these together for 65. Actually, that's worth it. We only lose a little bit. And we just gained a massive jump in water. Hopefully we will be okay in terms of cost. Yeah, estimated water gain 95. Oh, I'm so glad it just tells me these things. Also, this music got way better. The last song was not my jam. This song, very much my jam. Okay. So we want to grab the flavoring permit. There's another replicator. Look at the tea permit. I think the tea permit is better for me right now. Okay, get another mint. So how many crops are we putting down? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 16 total. Yeah, it's 13. And we have not quite 13 slots. 
I'd fuse my mints and my lilies together, but... Kind of better that I don't. At least for a moment. Okay, so there's our bitter. Uh, let's see. Sweet and sour, alcohol permit, but that's fruit and seed. Bitter and spicy. I mean, I guess I could go here. Sweet, uh, sweet and sour ain't the worst. Not exactly my my best option though. Dog will give me more. Root crop matures, three water if it's adjacent to a vegetable or fruit. Because we could just go for the dog. I think we might want that. Let's grab a, do we grab the cabbage? No, let's re-roll. I've got tons. value to adjacent crops. Oh, it really does just show you all of that. That's really nice. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, here's the question. No, so we don't actually want to combo these together. We want to keep them separate because that gets us even more. Yeah, so we're gaining like just massive amounts of money here from each of these. Oh, there's the next level of fertilizer. Uh, hold up. Okay, so here's the question. What's the next level? Oh, they just add in value. Okay, so comboing fertilizer together is just good. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so flavoring permit is interesting. I almost wonder if you could actually have two of them. One at T3, one at T4. I have crops of each flavor, though. I'm not even sure how doable that is. So we're going to get a tea permit. Uh, let's see, what is this? With a random crop, draft an additional crop of the same type. I mean, that's kind of good. Cost me some money, gets me some more. Otherwise, we could take the slow road. Let's take the slow road for a second. Rare herb bitter. All right, I'm gonna need some inventory space here. Grab the thyme. We want the thyme and the chili. Two value to all crops if water is at least, oh. That's really good. Okay, time to combo these together. Get that down. the second one of those peppers. Uh, anything else for it? Nope. Freaking value, man. Yeah, th I mean, honestly, I would even just say the... Oh. Oh, I see. The red chilies don't affect themselves. But yeah, that that just 12 from the team per permit mosh is kind of wild. Uh, okay, now that's mulch. Fruit permit, flavoring permit, another replicator. Okay, on harvest, harvest replants. Replanted value is at least 34. Not today, but that's really good. Okay, anything else that I should do? I'm gonna buy another slot just in case. 
I think otherwise, no, we're just we're just rolling at this point. Yeah, so we've still got an extra slot. This is why I want mole replicators. Okay, so what do we have? Fruit or seed matures, and we have two seeds. Otherwise, we just do a wet permit. Or the dog. Eh, wet permit. Okay, so this is crop matures. 16 crops on the farm gains you value. So we could actually go for the big big crop. That's not bad. Oh. We could go for another herbal permit, but I think I'm going to go for those replicators more than anything else at the moment. Okay, re-roll these. Rare spawn. Icy vegetable. Better than the cabbage. Oh, but that's only on itself. We'll just grab the cauliflower. And we get another chicken. I'm going to combo them together. We're still on insert mode. Oh, do we choose? Sort of. Okay, let's just fuse these together and get another cauliflower in the mix. Yeah, I want those replicators. Look at this cauliflower. Look at all the bonuses it's getting. Like, the game might not look like much to an external person, but there is just something truly satisfying about it. Uh, just watching big number go up uh, so aggressively. Successfully? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Four rare crops. That one's doable. towards mint? Sure. Have anything else we can mush in? Yeah. The one problem is if I go too hard for the uh, replicators, then we don't get the small crop uh, the small farm bonus anymore, but I'm not sure how much that matters. Also, I know our water's looking okay. We definitely need some more sprinklers, though. Oh. Oops. Okay. Um. Let's just get rid of the cabbage. It's not helping us. Do we get rid of the bees? We don't need to now. What is this one? By value, water is at least 130. That's okay. So, I'm just going to get another replicator in here, pay our usual loan, we get a shovel, remove a plot from your farm, unlimited use, right click to use, card sells for 100, and that's actually kind of good. Craft a crop card from actives, active or storage card, mm, it's okay. When a crop matures, if there are at most 12 crops on the farm, it gains four times. Oh. I think I might need to think about that then. What 
we use these? I've got enough inventory space that we can actually store some of this stuff. Now I'm at 13 crops right now. I could knock us down one more. Go for the water. Uh, did it, I think I went in. Use those together. And we get the small farm permit. And then we go for another tea permit. Go for another cauliflower. Because yeah, the cauliflowers aren't actually that good for what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, if there are at most 16 crops on the farm, they gain eight value. Oh, right. Yeah, so we're down to 12. And we're making so much money, I could probably stick at 12. Uh, let's see, more chickens, root kit. Oh, another tea permit. Let's see. I'm actually going to go for the mint. It's going to take a little bit to upgrade the sunflowers, whereas this way we can combo these together and get another sunflower in. Put that up here. Hopefully this just works. So we get our small farm permit. And then we've got another one of those. Probably keep going cauliflower. Water-wise, we're doing great. Don't have to worry too much. Right-click to use. Okay, so we're just hard-locking ourselves to 12. And the replicator isn't a problem, necessarily. All we have to do... Oh, right click to use. Rosemary. I'll mature two value to crops in the same column. Okay, so that's really good. Uh, a bit expensive, this, but here's the thing worth it. Okay, so now that we've done that. Yeah, do we have any of these that we want to nix? Because we could get rid of the cauliflowers. Yeah, the cauliflowers aren't really helping us too much. There. So that gets us a little bit more spicy. It keeps pushing up the herb. Which is very good. Time. I'll mature one value to all other crops. Yep. And yeah, I'd rather get another rosemary. Three value crops in the same row. So we have... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we gotta get rid of one more. Actually, let's just pull the sunflower off for the time being. Easy. Oh, 
look at that. Look at that money. Because, yeah, herb synergy, uh, freaking everything. Yeah. I think this is, this is the play. All right, we get our, okay, I got to take a look at this. So, six. Oh. Okay, we got to mush those together at this point. Any of these good? I mean, the wet permit ain't terrible. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Durian. Wither at the beginning of the third day, well matured. After every eight crops harvest? No. Lemongrass, though. Okay. When an herb or flower matures, six value for each herb or flower around it. If we're lucky, that's a lot. And yeah, we should get rid of the uh, flavoring. Flavoring permit, it's not going to help us too much. Absolutely nonsense amounts of money. And I'm I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that this is not actually uh, perfect. Okay, herb crop matures or withers. It's adjacent to spicy or bitter. All adjacent crops gain value. Probably that. Let's see, lily or sunflower? Sunflower. Let me double check again. So four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Do we have too many? We do. I'm just going to take that off because, yeah, this counts for two. Two. Uh, so four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And then yeah, we have two more T permits. We're we need what? Two more? A little bit more than two more. Alright. Head for the herbs? Sure. See rice now, lemongrass. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep hitting hitting the button. I wish I had more money I could spend, uh, more things I could spend my money on. We've kind of hit an upper limit here, and I'm just kind of sitting on my thumbs. I guess it makes sense that you can't overspend because then sudden builds would be stronger than others. Train an animal to get an animal of the same tier. Uh, I suppose. End of the day before harvesting spawn. Okay, so we don't care about that. Yeah, I guess I could just re-roll relentlessly. Well, there's our red chili. Revalue to all crops if water is at least 135. That shouldn't be a problem. I uh, gain another chicken. Put an animal to get an animal of the same tier. Frankly, I don't know how useful that is. Yeah, do we have any herb critters? I guess I'll go for a horse. Yeah, horses are actually pretty good. I'm gonna sell this. It's not helping me too much. I 
And let's sell the fruit permit, because that's not helping me. And we'll sell the shovel, because I'm not going to use it either. Yeah, we make enough to pay rent every single action. Maybe I should go for that withering thing. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go for that. And lemongrass. Because I confused the lemongrasses together. Anything else? Not too much. Herb permit? Herb matures it? Yeah. And do we go for our next pepper? Yeah. Oh, we've still got insert mode on. Four value. All crops gain five value. All crops gain value equal to eight plus the number of spi spicy and bitter around the herb. Like, some of these are kind of wild. Let's just sell the animal trade in. Not going to help me too much at this point. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I mean, I guess if I wanted to take a moment to just kind of organize things by type. There. That's a little bit better. Flowers? No. I could go for more lemongrass, but I don't I don't think I care. Hyacinth. Flower dry. On play plant another hyacinth. Nope. Let's see, we could go for another black pepper. I will admit black pepper is actually on the chopping block. It is not really that helpful. It does have the gain value thing, which is really good, especially got it up to, if I got it up to maximum. Uh, rosemary, though. I think, I think there is an argument to be made in favor of going, oh. I want to try something. Oh, do we not get a second black pepper? Hold up. Have we gone over again? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, so we actually have one too many. Oops. Oh, because this... Maybe? I don't know, whatever. We get we get our next replicator. And go for the T. Right, let's stop for a second. Let's combo the replicators together. Okay, so the next three, three slots are hyper-replicated. I'm going to probably flip them around. Okay, anything else? No. So let's go back to this. So I could go for another sunflower. Yeah. Eight value every seven cards played. And we're playing pretty much the entire setup. Tempting. Go for it. But let's just make sure it doesn't end up in the lineup.
I should probably swap these two. Maybe. We're losing a little bit of value for it, but I do like the idea of getting a second one of those. Oh, maybe I should have gone for the herb. Eh, whatever. Okay. So how are we doing this? It's gotta be this. Okay, and we get another red chili. Okay, for value to other crops, as long as we have a certain amount, we do, we're good. I doubt we're ever going to be able to get up to the, uh, the small farm max tier. But I also don't think we need to. Ah, but we did get the tea permit. And I can, I can re-roll these if they're, if they look not great for what I'm trying to do. wet crops. I'll just skip it. And right, I should just be re-rolling these. There. So actually we can even fit that in. Oh, here it is. No, we don't want to combine them yet. We need we need one more. Oh. My math is off. I am planting too many. I think this one's just uh the black pepper is getting the cut, which is actually fine. Cuz this is now 6. 6, 8, 10, 12, and then that's the leftover. Alright, small farm permit. Okay, if there are at most 14 crops on the farm, gain 16 value. Pay the, lo pay the loan. Okay, permit trade-in. Trade-in a permit to get a permit of the same tier. That's actually pretty good. What is this one? Oh, money. Don't care. I don't care about most of these. I guess let's go for... Uh, not the best. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to throw in the shears. We can buy those without any kind of issue. Okay, permit trade in. Trade in a permit to get another permit of the same value. This ain't helping us that much. The T permit, on the other hand, though, oh boy, here we go. Use them together, and we've got gold. Whenever an herb or flower matures, it gains 15 value for each herb or flower around it. Uh. That should be big money, and we're already sitting on big money, man. I guess the one thing I could potentially do... ...is trade this in. Okay, hold up. There is a world where this works. I'd want that, but no. Oh, we can just spend money on it. Yes. Okay, we are looking for... Herb. There it is. Okay, these are okay. But not that good. Small farm. Big farm. Big farm. I functionally have infinite money for this. The rerolls don't get that that expensive. There it is. All right. So now, when a crop matures, if there are at most twelve crops on the farm, it gains a four times multiplier. Uh, 
Let's go. All right. <laughs> oh, that's like 4,000 right there. Okay. Uh, what do we even want from this? I guess that one. And roll for the mint. They're identical. Oh, here's a problem. Yeah, it's the autumn effect that's hitting us. End of the day, before harvesting, spawn weed crops. So, I guess in retrospect, I'm just going to take that off. Like, at least it's still worth some amount of money, but frankly, no. Ain't worth it. Okay, so that's a seed crop. Or fertilizer. I didn't even check if that one was possible. I was just looking for what was good for me. Oops. Whatever. Yeah, I think we're... I think we're fine. Now, do we actually have... We do have a winter season. Well, I mean, at this point, I can pretty much just hit whatever button I want. Oh, here's a thing I can do. Settings. Animation speed. Let's go hella fast. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's gonna save us some time. So we don't have to worry about water. We are gaining 140. Yeah, we're good. Let's see, basil. Due to the same row, it is an herb. We don't actually need more herbs. But I'm gonna snag it anyway. Oh. Oops. I can actually combo those together. Let's see. I'll get some more fertilizer. Propagation kit. None of these are very good for me. Let's see. Bananas, more mint. Okay, so now we have gold mint. Like, do I want to get the basil in? I take this out. Yeah, we don't lose any of the bonuses. So the, the basil kind of works. It gets us some extra water, which is completely useless to us. Because we are so flush on water that we don't need any more. Frankly, what we need at this point is just fertilizer. Well, I did ask for more fertilizer. We could go for the flower kit as well. That's actually going to be much faster. Do we even bother going for the sunflowers at this point? Our chances of getting up to a four-star sunflower are very slim. I'd rather re-roll and try and get everything else up instead. Uh, anything? Nope. I'm curious what effect winter is going to have. Winter's here. Trade in your unused crops at the office for other crops. Okay, so we've got a trade in. Crop does not mature if it's not adjacent to another crop. Well, that's not a problem for me. Uh, let's just reroll. Okay, starter kit for flowers or more fertilizer. And rosemary. Buy value to the same column, that's great. Combo those together and see what flowers we can get. Uh, lily? Sure. Or lily. 
Actually, hold up. Let's not. Let's do the uh, crop trade in. Let's see. Sunflowers. Okay. Chili, though. I think I'm just going to sell that. We ain't using it. Okay, so what's the next level of it? Ten. So it's probably better to have two sixes at the moment. Okay, crop trade in. No, I think we're I think we're still good. Okay, keep going for the flower draft. Yeah. Look at anything else. It's the sunflower, but there's the mint. But getting up to T5 is just so unlikely. I'd rather try and get most of my other crops up. I guess I should try and go for a lily. There it is. So we now have a golden lily. That should be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Nah, reroll. Rosemary. Fortunately, I need one more rosemary. But still, one more rosemary should be pretty good. Mad lad's amount of money. And the problem is, I can't tell. I honestly cannot tell if I'm doing obscenely well or if I've just tricked myself into thinking I'm doing obscenely well. Uh, like it's one of those where oh, I used to I used to play this game. Oh, three stars is actually the maximum on those. Um, let's see, trading a crop for another crop. We never, yeah, we never leveled up my onion. It's fine. Uh, I played a game called Roll a while back where you were trying to get the highest possible score. I'm like, I get scores in the billions, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm doing great. And then somebody else would come back to me being like, no, actually, you're doing kind of stinky. And it was always just like the weirdest feeling. Oh, there's an herb kit. I always thought that was vegetable. Uh, onion? Anything else for it? Do we want to... We actually do want to combo these together. You know, it would be people with, like, quadrillions of money. And it always blew my mind that people could figure out how to break the game that hard. So much further above and beyond. Oh, there was an herb thing there. Uh, oh. Let's get the tea party. Let's get a little bit more basil. I don't hold it against anybody. Not in the slightest. It was just a, a matter of pure bafflement of how are th how are these people finding things that are just so above and beyond? And how does how does the game even hold up at that point? There's the rosemary that we need to make peak ro well, just shy of peak rosemary. What's the last level? Twelve. Yeah, it's probably too much too much work. Not worth my time. Move that over. Eh, kind of over here-ish. Yeah, so we're still looking for what? Two more red peppers, but they're kind of rare. And then a couple more lemongrass. And I will always take more tea permits. Always take more tea permits. Because, yeah, I could do this. Ah. Uh, no, the tea permits are worth it. Oh, there's the lemongrass I was looking for.
Because it's it's super unlikely that I'm going to be able to get a second T permit of this caliber. But even if I got it up to like T3, it'd be enough. More herb. More sprinkle. Gele. I don't think we need, need to even worry about water. Yeah, we are we are flush with it. It just also doesn't matter to me. Like, the fact that I have 20 times the amount of money that I would need for rent just sitting around is silly to me. I could go for the onion, but I think I'm going to roll down for other things. Because I can roll a lot. There it is. There's the chili combo. Gold chili. Six value at all crops if water is at least 135. Yeah, that's not a problem. Freaking $700 for some rosemary. I, I just realized I'm the bad guy here. Like, any of you guys mad about uh, the price of eggs nowadays? It's my fault, I suppose. Uh, start working on that onion? Oh, I should have rolled for lemongrass, whatever. Okay. Herb crop matures or withers if it's around a spicy or bitter, uh, which we do have spicy, and we... Okay, that's not as good. Oh, well. Herb. There's the lemongrass. Uh, let's see, work on onion? I suppose. Because we're pretty close on onion. I guess I could have possibly rolled to get both of those out, but whatever. Let's see, a little bit more time. Yes, time time's worth it. Do we even have any common crops left? Yes, we do. Quite a lot, in fact. Let's see. Now we already have the lemongrass. Trying to go for anything that isn't already gold. There it is. Time. Okay, three valued other crops. Yeah, it's good. I would like one more onion. Please. My Shrek's getting desperate. Don't read into that too much. There's the onion. Okay, so all of this, all I need at this point is basil, basil. Uh, but even then, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. Like we are cruising to the end, and literally nothing can stop me. I gotta look at the vegetable one. What's the maximum fifty value if it's around another vegetable? That's actually kind of good. I just don't care. What do I even need at this point? Nope, we're just going to skip, take the money, and roll our way home. There might be a way to go infinite here, but this is not worth my time. Victory. Uh, 614 of that and 100. Okay, so it just calculates how much money you made over the course of the run. Wait, I only spent 14,000. <laughs> I only spent 14,000 gold that entire run and made 150,000. What an absolute nonsense thing. All right, so we've got a rating mode. Uh, so that's Ascension.
Wait. Why is it 999? Did I... Did I... Did this game just decide that I am too powerful and it's giving me maximum difficulty mode? Is... <laughs> I'm not... I'm not sure. Highest rating reached, 999. Highest earnings at any level. Highest rating beaten. Okay. Uh, rating mode 999. Okay, actually that's... This isn't so bad to start off with. I, I'm probably going to need... I, I don't actually care about any of these. Where's the mushrooms? I thought I was going to unlock uh, mushrooms or something. Maybe... Maybe we just need to. Victory relaxed. Er. Boy, you can just see when I suddenly got the the herb and the small farm combo on the same round, and it's just like, no, 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 no. What was the jump here? Actually, I. Oddly enough, it was actually the herb garden bonus. It's the only char change, and that actually accounted for a. Uh, what is that? Ten percent jump. A little bit more. That's pretty good. I was poo-pooing it, but turns out it was actually worth it. Okay, that's overview. How do I get mushrooms? Where did they go? I don't know. Anyway, so with all of this said, crop rotations out on Steam came out a couple of days. It came out yesterday, a couple of days ago. I don't know. My sense of time is screwed up, and there's only so much I can record in a given day. Uh, but it's a very solid roguelike. There isn't really a whole lot else like it. I, Luck Be a Landlord is the closest possible comparison I can think of. Um, but even then... Oh, no, it actually did come out today. Hey, perfect. Um, but even then, I like this better. Luck Be a Landlord always felt like a little bit too... I don't want to say chaotic for me, but it didn't really feel like I, I was really in control. I was just kind of hoping for the best. This, I felt like I was in almost complete control the whole time. And, I mean, you could see with that score, like, bam, felt good. So, all that said, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons more to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.